Hi, my name is Brian and I will be teaching you today about how to do keyword research and just finding the supply and the demand for your market over the internet. So the first thing we want to do is just type in the address bar google.com at the top and in the search bar let's type in keyword tool and press enter and then what we want to find is the one that says Google AdWords keyword tool click on that website. Now this website is going to help us find the demand of a product and how many times a word is searched every month um, just a keyword phrase for any market so let's start from entering one keyword or phrase per line let's do a test on thinking that I would be selling maybe lawn equipment or landscaping equipment um, so let's put that in right now and see how that shows up what we want to do as soon as this pops up is scroll down and we mainly just want to look at two columns just the keywords and also the global monthly search volume so the keywords will show you exactly what people um, type into the search engines like Google and Yahoo and the global monthly search volume will show you how many people search that term every month so if we click on global monthly search volume it puts it in order from highest to lowest and we wanna we wanna just test some of these words out so um, what we wanna find with the global monthly search volume is people that search words that are searched at least a thousand or more times a month so around a thousand or more so these top four are good words to look at right now um, but what we want to do is this shows the demand we want to also find the supply or the competition to make sure that we're not entering a market that's way too saturated and has way too much competition um, so what we want to do, what I like to do is click on file up in the top left and just open uh, a new tab and then right here um, we, I just go to google.com again and in here we want to type in all in title put a colon then a space and inside quotation marks you put the keyword phrase which was landscaping equipment and then end the quotation marks and press enter so what we want to look at here is just this number that's it the results 1 in 10 out of 108,000 that means there are 108,000 websites that are directly targeting this keyword phrase landscaping equipment so what we need to find is actually a keyword phrase that has around 20,000 in competition or less okay so this word has too much competition and we need to move on so let's go let's go to the next one go back to the demand the keyword tool and let's do the next one down landscape equipment that has 12,000 so let's go here and um, take out then just put landscape equipment and press enter this one has 28,000 um that's a little more than 20,000 but it's a lot closer so it might be a word that we want to keep for later it might be a word that we're gonna use so the best way to keep the words um, keep track of them is to put them in a spreadsheet and then we can actually compare some keyword phrases to others so the best way to um, uh, get a free spreadsheet is to actually click on let's click on file and get it open a new tab and then go back to Google dot com and type in Google Docs okay and make sure you're signed in to Google or your Gmail account and click on welcome to Google Docs and then what we can do up in the top left it says create new just click on that and create a new spreadsheet so what we want to do when this pops up is enter I like to enter four main columns let's do the first one as a keyword phrase second one can be the demand or in other words the search volume per month and the third one can be the supply or the competition it's the all in title search and the fourth one I always like to put as ratio so we can compare each of them to each other and then you can click here to actually um, make these columns a little larger okay so the first one was lands oh since we're not using landscaping equipment um, we don't even need to write that in here let's just do the second one which was close to our criteria 
just landscape equipment. The demand, if we go back here, we can find that. Landscape equipment was 12,100. Let's save that in here. Um, and let's get the, the competition, 28,500. 28,500. All right. Um, so now we just got to find some more. What we want to do is go back to the keyword tool and you can check these out and then when you're done checking these words out you want to find synonyms to landscaping and equipment so synonyms to landscaping could be lawn or gardening or yard and equipment could be supplies or products whatever it might be so let, let's put in how about um maybe gardening uh gardening tools how about that and let's see and then click on get keyword ideas and uh, what we're okay so these pop up there's a lot of search volume what we always want to make sure is if there's a lot of search volume over a million that's probably gonna be way too much competition so let's go down down here a little and look at some of the smaller words let's just pick one out lawn and garden tools that's over a thousand for the demand so let's check out the, the supply, the all in title. So it's lawn and garden tools. We put inside the quotation marks the keyword phrase, which is lawn and garden tools. And it comes up as 11,000. That's under 20,000, so that does meet our criteria. So this is a word we want to keep. Um, so let's go to our, up here, go to our Google Docs, put in that keyword phrase, lawn and garden tools and put in the numbers it was 12,100 12,100 and for the competition we had 11,700 all right so we just keep doing that over and over again we just want it um want you, I just want you to know that also the competition the lower the competition is the faster it is for your website to actually get to the top of the rankings in Google. And the demand, um, I mean, we want the high demand and low competition. So after doing this for a while, uh, just going back and forth and, and writing in the keywords that hit the criteria, you'll come up with more keywords. And I have a list here of 12. And let me delete this. I'll show you how to do the ratios. But what we want you to get is a list between about 30 and 50 different keywords um, just because we're gonna we're gonna compare all these keyword phrases and see which ones are the best to use for your home page and your main pages now you'll see that in this market I use words like landscape equipment lawn products supply these are more general words that I would use for the main pages now for the for the products themselves I'll also use words like maybe lawn mower, lawn aerator, fertilizer product, stuff like that is more specific and I would use that actually for the the products themselves to target those. But right now we want to find keyword phrases that we can use for your home page and your main pages on the website. So the ratios will actually tell us which of these are the best keywords. So what we want to do here is press equal next to the um, the keyword phrase in the competition and we click on the demand and we want to divide the demand into the supply so put the demand over the supply divide by supply and press enter and it gives you the number and I always like to click on the corner here and just drag it down to the bottom it gives you the number of all of them so we can see which ones actually have the best uh, the best ratios the higher numbers the better the ratio so we can see here, look in the fives, lawn supplies and lawn supply. Plural is always separate, is always different competition than singular. Okay, like lawn products and lawn product. So we'll see that these are kind of the best keywords. These will be keywords that will end up uh, making our main keywords for our home page. All right, so just go back, find 30 to 50 keywords to start off and then we'll start making our website, all right? So that, in a nutshell, is keyword research.